Hi everyone, Jan here. Um, I would like to uh, invite you all to my first video that is directed to more international audience. Uh, today I have something special for you. Uh, it's an un unboxing video of um, Siri painting bust that has been released by CD Projekt Red in cooperation with Big Chart Creatives. Uh, it has just arrived. Let's see what's inside. Uh, at the first glance, the packaging is very, very cool. Um, let's get right to it. So it looks like it's very decently packed. Let's see how it looks in person. The packaging itself is top notch, really. Uh, it's quite thin cardboard, it's quite bendy, but uh, the art style is very nice. The box art has been uh, painted by fantastic Polish artist uh, Kamelson, uh, Jarosław Kamelson Drabek. Um, model uh, has been designed by Jan Marek and created by Marcin Błaszczak. It costs around 50 bucks, what, which is really affordable. So without later ado, let's get right into, into it. So it's tightly packed in this uh, clamp pack blister and it uh, looks very tight so uh, damage is very unlikely the resin is surprisingly dark uh, at least for a miniature standard let's get all the pieces out <clears throat> So it seems like we have a lot of parts. It's very unlikely for this kind of product, although it looks very, very nice. Um, nice thing that they have supplied model with a display plinth. Uh, those are sometimes hard to get a hold of, so uh, it's nice that we have one uh, with us here at place. The fun part is uh, that this place for cleavage is actually um, hollow and it looks like, yeah, this is the part with a bra that fits right into it from the bottom. It looks like very decently casted. All the model parts have those characteristic uh, blocks that allow you to find a uh, place where the, the, the given part fits in. Um, the face expression looks very nice. Uh, actually the sculpt is very 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 good. Um, a sword and sheet or however it's pronounced. I've heard this funny thing that her ears are actually a separate parts together with locks of hair and they attach to those places. So it's quite unusual. The detail is really awesome. There is not much uh, of texturing on those gloves. Those are smooth, so we have to paint on all our textures, which is a great, great, great exercise of painting technique. Uh, there are some minor um, mold lines, although they do not look like something different to, to get rid of. Uh, her dagger seems a bit bandy, although as with most of resin, uh, I guess we can uh, straighten it up with some high temperature. 
here we have a place that uh, the model was attached to the mounting in the mold. Uh, it's, it's a bit rough, although I also believe that this is a normal thing for this kind of, this kind of model. Um, I've seen in some other reviews that there is a nasty separation on the mold here, like it has shifted a bit. Uh, but uh, on this one it's actually uh, quite decent looking. So, oh, here you have, it fits right, right into it. So it should be easy to put together. And all looks very, very nice. Um, this this, this uh, product seems very solid, especially for that price. And uh, would not love to have uh, this kind of bust. Uh, I will probably try to paint it. I haven't ever worked on this scale, although uh, it should be a nice challenge. Thanks for your attention, everyone. See you later again. Bye.